What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king. Welcome you back to more Let's Play Horizon Forbidden West. In the last episode, we made it to Scalding Spear, met up with the captain, Yara, who is... Well, she's with us right now because we're trying to figure out the source of the water and why it's gone missing. And so we're going to keep heading up this way. Let's see. We do have some water here, which is very promising. Machine's got him. Maybe he found something up there worth reporting back about. We'll find out soon enough. So let's see. This is a lot better. Tons and tons of water up this way, so it's not so dry over at the Scalding Spear. But I do want to get back there and get some gear if possible. Uh-oh. Alright, how do I mess with this? Looks like Draka's man tried to pry this open, but he didn't know what he was doing. And now the water's not going where it's supposed to. Sabotage. Or ignorance. Alright, well, let's see. Um, I can't turn this thing. Well, let's try pulling this. I don't think this is gonna do anything. The water's still leaking. I... Gotta try something else. Can I pull the spear out? No, I cannot. Alright, what else do I have? See, is there anything else up around here? What about this? Okay, that might have created something. We also have that up there. So let's pull all those into place. How in the world am I supposed to get up there, though? That is the main question. Um. Oh, here we go. Found it. All right, Aloy, hop up, and back you go. What do you need to do? Just uh, stay here. Let me know if anything changes. I'm gonna take a look around. Let's Our see. We got a valve yeah, here. That might help. Hey, it stopped leaking. It looks like that stopped the water flow. Now I just need to find a way to get it to Scalding Spear. Alright, let's see. So we got a container here. This has got some stuff in it. An ancient sculpture. Can I pull this one? Maybe. It's very presumptuous of you, Aloy, but we'll certainly see. Can I grab onto this at all? Oh, nope, can't grab onto that one. How about this one? Let's see, and then... How do I... where do I jump to? Exactly, oh, I see it, hold on. I should have pulled this down first. There. I bet I can use that. Now, down you... Go! Come on! Thank you. System switched back. Couldn't hold the water pressure. I gotta get up to that valve faster. So all I gotta do is jump back to it. That's not what you were supposed to do, Aloy. I guess she was still in the middle of the animation of sidling, <laughs> even though I was pulling back on the control stick, and that's why she decided to do that for some reason. Should we go to a complete standstill that time? Thank you. And then jump to the... Aloy, I swear sometimes, you are so obnoxious when it comes to platforming in this game in particular. Uh, I, I, I do have some thoughts about this game in comparison to... So do I open this one now? Let's see. Something changed clearly because... Uh, leaking again. Whatever you did, undo it. Better close that up again. Okay, so I, I don't want to mess with this valve at all. I only want to turn the one over there. I see. The there. Making progress. Oh, can I please get in here? Thank you. you came back. I definitely have some thoughts about the way that this game handles compared to Zero Dawn. There's definitely Not some yet. problems with it. it. So now, can I pull this one? Was that supposed to do anything? I guess not. And I can't do anything with this valve. Hold on a second. Like okay, so... 
water circulating. For some reason, the first time I pulled that lever, it didn't do anything. I don't know why. And it because she said the water switched, and you would expect, but there was no sound. So now we need to turn this thing again after the fact. Ugh. So weird. I don't know why. What a glitchy quest. Get in here. Anything leaking? Not that I can see. Let's hope that means my plan works. Hey, lady, drop down, please. All right, now, can I pull this thing? Or are we just talking? This will return water to Scolding Spear. Checking the wound is the only way to be sure. Draka knew what would happen if the capital was left without water, but he didn't care. All he wanted was to cause a crisis so he could challenge my command. We don't know that for sure. Meet me back at the wound when you can. Please, to make sure the water will flow. I will. Don't do anything rash about Draka. Only an upstart acts rashly. A commander bides her time. Hey. The desert was kind to lead you to us. Okay, we did it. Yeah, we need to get back there. Alright, so I'm going to just kind of fast travel back. I don't really want to waste too much time, so we'll just go straight there. And, uh, yeah, wow, I cannot believe how many problems I had with that quest. That should not have taken as long as it did. But it, just, it appears that something just didn't happen correctly. Huh. Alright, well, we will... Let's talk to this guy. What's up? I need to see the wound. I'm afraid your presence is required in the commander's quarters. Is everything okay? The dissident Draka has been apprehended for interfering with the wound. How did he interfere? He entered the wound by force, saw that it was empty, except for a slow trickle that began when you fixed the device in the desert. He did not take it well. Of course he didn't. I'll go meet with them. All right, let's go see. Uh, am I, I'm not supposed to go down here, am I? No, I'm supposed to go up this way. Let's go. Back up top. Man, I, I really want to go to the Stitcher, but uh, <laughs> we got to finish this little quest that we're doing really quickly before we go any further. You have some nerve. You're one to talk. That doesn't sound good. How could you let this happen? How did I let this happen? You're the one who sabotaged the wound in the first place. You're lucky we were able to fix it, or your head would already be on a spear. You call that fixed? It's just a dribble. And it's not my fault. I already told you, Ukta came to me. He said he found something in the desert that might get us water. I had no idea it had anything to do with the wound. And you expect me to believe that? Aloy, I came for the water that was owed to us, and when I found out that there is no water, they arrested me. As I already told you, the water is returning, but slowly. It'll be weeks before the wound is full again. Until then, I will send Arrowhand what I can. You hid what happened to the wound. How can we believe you now? Draka. No, you know what? Enough of this. No more words. <laughs> Consider that a challenge. <coughs> Gather your squads then, and meet us at the gate of the vanquished. I have a challenge to prepare for. Leave me. This will be the end of the clan. I have to stop it. We have to stop it. Hold on a second. Help me understand. What is this gate? The doorway to a dead cauldron. A symbol of what the tribe aspires to. The defeat of deranged machines. Dead? What shut it off? No one knows. But it is a place of great significance for our clan. Even greater now, since it will mark the onslaught of a massacre. What do you mean, the end of the clan? Both sides will take their most loyal squads to the Gate of the Vanquished. Then they'll butcher each other as part of a ritual challenge. But it won't stop there. Whoever wins will try to wipe out the loser's loyalists all over the desert. The fighting could last for months. 
Those two scabheads are going to doom us all. Can't you stop them? I'm a chaplain. I provide counsel. I cannot force them to heed it. Even Chief Akaro can't intervene. It is a matter for the clan alone. What makes you think I can help you stop them? I'm not even from this tribe. They both owe you a debt. You aided them when no one else could. And you've seen into their hearts, just like I have. Misguided in different ways, but no less worthy of the people they protect. Your words might be enough to spear some sense into them. Yeah, well, they're not exactly good listeners. And you are no ordinary speaker, especially with a bow in your hand. I will go to the Gate of the Vanquished, southwest of here, to stall them. But without you, I'm afraid we'll run out of body bags fast. Okay, well, we will be doing that almost immediately. I am just going to make my stop over at the Stitcher really quickly. Uh, because I do want to get myself some armor really, really badly. So, let's have a talk. Okay, so, what do you have for me? We got Cars of Wander, Cars of Shadow, Utaru Harvester, and Awesome Arrow Breaker. But then up here we got Utaru Thresher. Ooh. And Tanakh Skirmisher. Now, that one is actually the most uh, compelling to me because I haven't been running into a lot of frost and corrosive damage as it is. Although Utaru Thresher, I do like that one a lot. Um, deep Concentration or Potent Medicine. I can get a plus two in either one, but this one's more low... See, this one's more low health, which I'm not a fan of. And this one's more heavy lift or heavy weapons and concentration as skills. Man, ah! Uh, I, I like this one's stats better, but I... Or, sorry, this one's stats better, but I like this one's skills better. That's tough. And I only got one Sunwing Circulator I can spend here. Um, you know what? Let's do it. Let's go with the Tanakh Skirmisher. I love the way it looks, too, so we'll equip that. Now I can head on over to a workbench, and I can get some stuff done. Let's go over to the hunter really quickly, and I will equip some weaves and the like. We got that really awesome all-weave from the Thunderjaw that we killed earlier that will help us out a bunch. So let me let me see what you have really quickly. Uh, you have a purge water hunter bow. Ooh. Ooh, that's actually really nice. You know what? I think I'm going to take that. And I'm going to equip it over my Acid Warrior Bow. So there we go. We got that. We got a Frostbite Warrior Bow, a Siege Blast Sling, Beam Wire, Trip Caster, Anchor Rope Caster, Pla Whoa, Plasma Bolt Blaster. I don't have a Sunwing Circulator for that, though. But I could make the Shock Bolt Blaster. Oh, man, there's a lot of stuff here. Holy crap. Vanguard Hunter Bow, but I need a Tide Ripper Circulator for that. Death Rattle Warrior Bow. And then a Corrosive Blast Sling. Uh, that one's actually really good. I could get some water damage with that one. I just need a bellowback circulator. Okay, well, we'll hold on to that one for a while. I'll create a job for that. Um, just as kind of something I can track for later. Maybe, uh, I don't want to go after it right this second. So, well, I'll, maybe I'll track it later. I do, I think I am going to grab the shock bolt blaster, though. That might be nice. Bolt blasters are very, very strong. And it's probably going to be better than my spike thrower. So now, let me go in here and use my workbench. I got two pouch upgrades I can make. Let's do those first. And I have lots of metal shards left over, so we should be fine. Uh, so I can now upgrade my precision arrow quiver. I need a moonfish skin and owl wishbone. Won't be getting those for a while. But that's fine enough for me. Outfit upgraders. Okay, let's uh, upgrade our Tanakh skirmisher a little bit. And by that, I mean just exactly one. I need clamber jaw and snap moss stuff. To go even further with it. But I know what I'll do with the one slot I have. As far as weapon upgrades are concerned. Can upgrade this one a little bit. There we go. And I can't go anymore with that one. My shock bolt blaster. Upgrade that one a little bit. Spend all my metal shards on this stuff. I don't even care. Uh, I can actually put the green shine a little bit to use. So that's some nice upgrades for that thing. Won't go any more with that one. Knockdown sharp shot bow. I need a leap blaster spark coil for that, which you would think would not be too hard to get. And then I got the purge water hunter bow. Let's upgrade this thing a little bit. Oh, snap maws sack weapon. I need to kill a lot of snap maws. Can upgrade my slicing hunter bow at least. 
Have I unlocked? Yes, I've unlocked the second type of ammo, and I can actually fully upgrade this one for more tear damage. And we also got another uh, coil unlocked on it. Oh my goodness, look at all that. I think I did some pretty good work there. Acid Warrior Bow, I'm not really using that anymore. Um, I just want all the stuff that I have equipped at the moment. Okay, I think we are good. Now let's put some coils on really quickly. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so let's see. Uh, let's go to my Slicing Hunter Bow first, which I have a second coil slot. And I'm going to put... What do I want? I'm going to put... Should I put knockdown damage on that? Melee follow-up, agility damage. Increases damage down while falling or sliding. That could actually be really helpful. So let's do that. Because I do use that one quite a bit. Um, as for the Purge Water Hunter Bow, let's edit this one a little bit and give it some acid damage. Okay. Forge Fire Trip Caster. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of fire damage to this one. I think I'll worry more about the shock damage on my shock bolt caster. So let's do that. There we go. And then my knockdown sharp shot bow is locked, so I can't do anything with that. So all that's left is this one, which, let's see, I can do some extra tear damage, critical hit chance. But I'm not going to use the basic arrows on this one a ton. Let's just give it more fire damage. There we go. And I think that is everything. So now all I got to do is my outfit here, which on this one, I am going to add my all defense. Beautiful. Okay. That was a lot. That was absolutely a lot. And uh, I can show these bolt blasters. These things are heavy weapons. So uh, keep that in mind. And they are, you may, they make you very, very slow, but they do deal out a lot of short-range damage. So that's something to keep in mind. So I have Hunter Arrows and Advanced Hunter Arrows for that extra tear damage now, which is super awesome. Okay, I think we're good. Wow, yeah, we made a lot of good upgrades. And I'm pretty happy with that. I would like to go to a Dire to add to this, but I think now we need to worry about going out to the next quest. So, the Gate of the Vanquished. Let's set that pretty far from here. And, yep, it's in the exact opposite direction, so I don't have any way of fast traveling there. We just need to go. So let's just go. We'll have to come back here and pick up more quests later. But if I can, I can just jump out and glide out of this place. All right. And I can actually probably call my mount here. So let's get that. Come on, little guy. No, wait. Where are you, where are you going? Come here. Let's go. All right. We got a lot of ground to cover. Let's hurry. If you can just go straight there, we should be fine. It's going to actually be pretty sweet when I'm able to actually upgrade this thing so I can attack more frequently while I'm on it. I'll get to a point where I will able to, when I, when I become more of a machine master, where you can get some pretty awesome upgrades that are specific to when you're actually on a mount. They're going to make this whole situation a lot easier. All right. Gate of the Vanquished. Here we go. I'm actually going to save at this campfire really quickly. Please. Thank you. And this episode might go a little bit longer because of this. We'll see. But we're going to try to get this done. Angry to knock them. Draka and Yara are already here. You're there. You're here. And I thought you didn't care. Aloy. Did you come to witness the challenge? Does there have to be a challenge? Oh, yeah. There does. If you persist, all of these squads will join the fights. How many will die here? And how many will die in our villages once the retaliation begins? There has to be another way. Listen to what she has to say. You both owe her that much. Yara, do you really need to do this? He sabotaged the wound. You can't tell me you believe he knew nothing about it. And it was all part of his plan, to force a confrontation. Don't you see? This is what he's wanted all along. It doesn't matter how many die as long as he gets what he wants. Command of the clan. No. I'm putting an end to this. Now! Draka, you lost a lot of good people hunting machine hearts to trade for water. You want to lose more now? But that cost is exactly why I'm doing this. Why I had to send people to find other sources in the first place. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with what happened to the wound. Ukta came to me, said he found underground leaks. 
that might lead to another well, that's all. I didn't tell him to screw it all up and drain the wound. So stand down so we can all talk about this. No! No more talking, no more lies. Yara can't be trusted. That's been proven. Is this how you two plan to save your clan? By causing a massacre over who gives the orders? Drop this foolishness and work together. She's right. Put away your spears. Return to your homes. Which means she stays in charge? Forget it! You see? Replacing me is all he cares about. It's a vendetta. And it has to end here. Not for once we agree. Pick a side, Aloy. Because we're settling this now. There must be a way to minimize the bloodshed. The Tanakh never make things easy, do they? I'm afraid not. This isn't about Draka conspiring against you, Yara. It's about your people. You lied to them about the wound. You also said their survival is all that matters. Was that a lie too? If it wasn't, then stand down. Give Draka a shot at command. It was no lie. Which is why I'll never hand over command to the likes of him. Then fight us. Just us. You want to save lives? Keep your squads out of it. I've seen how you fight. These soldiers are with me. Then we stand with Aloy and Draka. Even numbers. I'll take no joy in fighting either of you. New rules! We're keeping it to just us. Winner takes command. Okay, I didn't think we were going to have to do this, but here we go. All right, so I'm going to start with something big here. There we go. That should do a little bit of damage. And if we can actually get this guy on fire a little bit more, that will help our cause here. Come on. No, oh, it's not actually dooming a lot because, unfortunately, he's got a lot in the way of armor. Oh, my goodness. Whoa! Here is a combo. Come on. Oh, almost got you. There we go. We got him. Okay, there's one. Took him down. Hold on. There's a lot of people here. Oh, that I didn't mean to do that. All right. He's going to do a swinging attack probably here in a second. Whoa. Okay. Hold on. That's a rock right there. I'm working on it. There's a lot of blaze around here. There we go. I got him right in the side. Okay. Hold on. I really do need more. Oh, here we go. Let's take this. Oh, that's some good damage. I'm so sorry. This has got to be done. Woo! Okay, hold on. Yeah, I'm going to fire another bolt blaster at you. Oh, yeah, that does a lot of good short range damage. I'm so sorry. Who are you? I, I think that was Yara herself. So we took her out. Where are the rest of your soldiers? At oh here we go. Just a second. Overdrop. There we go. Is that it? Are we done? Yeah, we're done. It's over. <laughs> well, you're gonna make me wait around. You didn't need to do that. Akaro didn't, and Regala bit him in the ass. <sighs> okay, so... What's the plan? The wound still doesn't have enough water for everyone. I'll gather the leaders from all the desert villages. We'll figure it out. For a second there, you sounded like a real commander. Your confidence is inspiring. Here, take this. My thanks for what you did here today. You didn't have to get involved. I won't forget what you did, Desert Flame. 
So I guess to explain my decision making there, Yara was just a little bit too hot headed, a little bit too rash in her decision making. Draka, Draka just seemed to genuinely care a lot more, unfortunately. And he's also younger. Sometimes you just, you know, sometimes you just need a new face in charge. I mean, even if he isn't going to do a good job, he can't do any worse than how she was doing, unfortunately. So. Sorry, Yara, but it, that's the way it kind of had to be. Guys, that's going to be it for this episode of Horizon Forbidden West. Thank you all so very much for watching. Next episode, I think we'll go back to Scalding Spear. We're going to have to try to do the melee pit. I also want to do the machine strike there as well, and we have a couple other quests that we can pick up while we're in the area before we have to head off to the Broken Sky. So thank you all so very much for watching. I will see you all in the next one.